Despite the fact that antibiotics have saved millions of lives since their invention, the fact that they are extremely widespread has been absolutely fatal, and the medicine is continually engineering the ultimate weapon against humanity, superbugs. But what were antibiotics designed to protect you from in the first place? Well, bacteria. The vast majority of bacteria are virtually harmless to our bodies. In fact, countless bacteria that live within you are crucial to your survival and allow you and their ecosystems inside you to thrive in a symbiotic relationship. This is your microbiome, which we have a whole video on. The minority of bacteria, however, have evolved to invade our bodies, stealing resources from us and our microbial communities. This can be fatal and killed millions of people over the course of history. However, we developed a key weapon against these horrific infections, antibiotics. This new technology revolutionized the world of medicine. So what exactly are antibiotics? How do they work? And how can they trigger the so-called antibiotic apocalypse? Antibiotics are extremely effective at targeting bacteria. Each individual bacterium has an incredibly complex series of structures that essentially function as microscopic machines, executing all the processes that occur inside a bacterium. These include constructing proteins, transporting matter around the cell, producing energy, and making more of themselves. However, antibiotics prevent these micro-machines in the bacterium from functioning, preventing them from dividing and ultimately killing them. Some antibiotics rip the cell membrane of the bacterium in bits, also killing it. However, there are a few bacteria that are slightly more adept at surviving antibiotics. This minority of bacteria has a random mutation that allows it to protect itself from antibiotics. Certain bacteria have used their own constructed molecules to render the medicine helpless, or simply remove the antibiotics before they can disrupt any internal processes. These new bacteria that have evolved to fit perfectly into the environment multiply in numbers extremely quickly, spreading immunity to the antibiotic. Because a bacterial generation can emerge in approximately 20 minutes, Evolution in these populations happens very, very, very fast. Secondly, bacteria can exchange snippets of DNA called plasmids, gaining blueprints of how to build structures that'll help them survive. They can then build proteins that assemble into these structures. So, if two bacteria exchange the right genes, they can become immune to an antibiotic. Bacteria can even harvest genes that are in dead bacteria, not only of their species, but others, collecting DNA, snippets, and useful traits. Combining the factors of extremely fast generations and the exchange of plasmids, superbugs can arise. These are bacteria that are immune to multiple antibiotics. Antibiotics have been prescribed extremely freely across the developed world and have been heavily used in meat production, transferring deadly bacteria immune to antibiotics from livestock to us. In order to make meat production cheaper, livestock are held in horrific conditions and extremely close quarters, making it a breeding ground for disease. Therefore, animals are given cheap antibiotics to keep them protected from infection, giving superbugs to humans. Super antibiotics, therefore, were developed to target specific superbugs. However, bacteria have even developed the ability to withstand these drugs. A bacterium in China had developed resistance against colistin, which like other antibiotics, should be a last ditch drug. The resistance to the drug has led to the destruction in the last line of defense for horrific bacterial infections. This is horrible news and may cost us many lives. However, there might be a key to defeating all bacterial infections. Bacteriophages. These are the arch rivals of bacteria. There are viruses that specialize in attacking bacteria, using them as factories to build more copies of themselves. They are critical to solving this issue because despite the fact that a bacterium could develop resistance to a bacteriophage, the viruses could also evolve. Therefore, they can adapt in order to kill essentially all bacteria. 
we can use genetic modification to our advantage, and perhaps we could engineer the perfect bacteriophage, able to wipe out any infection. So despite the fact that humanity has engineered the perfect weapon against itself, with the potential to cause a pandemic, we must combat the bacteria adeptly. It is critical for us to use the perfect tool to prevent the antibiotic apocalypse. Thank you so much for watching part one of two in this antibiotic mini-series. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think bacteriophages can help us combat bacterial infections? Vote in the poll above. And if you'd like to learn about some good bacteria, watch our video on the microbiome. And as usual, always dig deeper.